整死部啦！哇，好犀利啊！不時啲語言，個個因為好車啊，所以架架都一起步就，哎呀，咦，就嗰個英文過咗咯，張子健頭啊，哎呀，冇錯，陳陳宇亦都係後面走，哎呀，又一撞啊，都係，哎呀，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，係啊，But yes, indeed, Chung Chi Sing has got ahead of Chung Hu Kong off the start line, and it looks to me as though um, Louis Van Kit has lost out as well. Chen Yu Yi has gone well in car number 12, well in car number 12 yes, as they jostle the position, position, position coming down towards this bell for the first yeah. time. Chung Chi Sing is the leader, and he's messed it all up. I don't believe it. He did all the hard work at the start, and he just threw it away in the list of bad guys. He's going to be in the game again. Chung Chi Sing, a terrible mistake at this bell. You can see just how far back that Louis Van Kit has dropped in the top. 可以再等位入去啦，入啦，係啦。可能即係就係有少少 shock 啊。Allowed。通常咧，我哋喺呢個位置知道拍埋胎嚟，因為嗰度係胎嚟嘅。唔係入邊一個波隊嘛，車出去先啊，已經。In fact, Chung Hu Chung Hu Kong is at the front. Let's just take another look at that spin of Danny Stacey Chow. Out of the first corner. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine,
has actually got more speed. He does look like he has a faster car and he's being held up here by Chen Yui. Nothing wrong with that, of course. It's entirely Chen Yui's uh, prerogative to uh, drive as he sees fit. He believes the race should be controlled there. Absolute, the guy in front does tend to dictate the pace. But you do get the feeling that car number five, Chen Yui Kong, has got just that little bit more speed. And uh, as they come down to the Melco for the second time, it also looks as though Bip Luvar has managed to get right on the tail of the leading two. So what was a leading duo is now a leading quartet with also Chan Shi Wah in there as well. And, uh, the pace is pretty much the same for all of those front runners. They're right together, but another car that seems to have pulled off to the side of the road just, to, just before the entrance to the Fisherman's Bend. But Chen Yui, he was saying that he... Uh, he didn't look to be as quick as Chung, but in fact, he's, he's managed to open something out coming down that hand bit. We'll see, we'll see what the lap times are as, um, as they come through this time, but things do sort of spread out a little bit. As they cross the line, Chen leading by a second, and just three tenths between Chung and Hap. Lap times around 2 minutes 56, but uh, moving quickly is Ip Lubar. He's the man to watch in third place. He's just turned a 255.331, which is uh, over a second faster than the boys at the front. So Ip Lubar in car number 33 is the man to keep an eye on. As we see Chung making a move on the chair down towards the Lisboa. It looks like he's got the position. He can just get his braking right and hold his nerve. He should be able to make a turn into this bow, a nice sweeping action, very nice, nice move indeed, he got the drive he needed coming across the start finish line, it, was, it, it didn't look very promising for him, but he, as he crossed the start finish line, he was some way behind, but he managed to get better, better drive out of Mandarin. I think Chung could see it move on the move and thought, well, it's, it's, it's time to get going, boys, and, uh, and uh, he managed to uh, uh, come past Chung. Uh, and look, if you saw now, really uh, giving uh, car number 12 the, the gears, and uh, I think you'll see him moving up to second place before we're very much older. This is definitely the fastest man in the circuit, Nick Lubar, in third place. And I completely agree, he's going to be right over the back of Chen any moment now. He was, um, he was looking, he's looking very good indeed. Meanwhile, Chan Chi Wah in the Toyota in fourth place, just staying in touch, just in case any of these three should uh, get themselves out of the race, just pick up a place. Quite content at the moment to sit back and watch the action in front of him unfolding, just keep in touch. 2 minutes 55.331 there, the uh, fastest that we mentioned. For Ip Luvar. I think, I think there has to be a sensible race tactic at the moment. The, uh, a lot of these guys uh, don't get to the finish. You know, they, they don't do the 15 laps. And, uh, just looking after the car, keeping in touch, uh, minding your tyres and minding your P's and Q's will be a very sensible approach at this stage of the race. Right. And he's not, uh, he's not he's in touch, he's, he's right there. Meanwhile, a quick update. We mentioned the top of Geronimo Wall. You don't see that very often. Side by side through that section of the circuit, we've got a car out there. You can't quite see who that is, but uh, you really don't often see, see two cars side by side. That's Yao, car number 68, and car number 88 of Feng. So Yao and Feng. We've got one of the car number 99 there, that's low. He was lying in fifth place. He's pulled out car number 99, low car five. Look how close they are, though, as they come down towards uh, the start finish line for the second time. Really, nothing to choose between them. And wave the other flags at the start finish line. All the best uh, Through the Melco. Great scraps all the way through this field. And I mentioned a quick update on Geronimo Badiraco because he is, as we, as we predicted, coming through this field like a hot knife through butter. He started on the back of the grid and he's already up into 16th place. But we'll see what position he's in. That was the end of last lap. Cement dust from the previous race being thrown out there by the front runners as they go to the Mandarin. Madaraka was in 16th place at the end of lap three. I bet he's made some more progress since then. He's certainly going very, very quick. And uh, meanwhile, Chung is trying to just put a little bit of uh, ground between himself and Chen. He's uh, in his three tenths of a second clear as uh, they complete the last lap. Indeed, Madaraka is up to 15th place now. But Chung 
comfortably uh, yeah. moving ahead at 254.517 his last lap and this is really what he needs to do now he's got himself ahead of Chen he just needs to bang in a couple of laps at a pace that Chen can't live with just to create that cushion for himself and that will be the pace that Chen can't live with just to create that cushion of about three or four seconds to do nicely just to keep Chen guessing just to keep him at a distance so that a speculative move by Chen on the braking or indeed a little mistake or a misgear change by Chung won't cost him that position just to build a little bit of a projected cushion for himself it's a long race this for these guys it's quite hot in these cars even though it's not a particularly good in day they're still working very hard in these cockpits 15 laps around here is physical uh, and uh, quite tiring so you've got to just keep your wits about you keep the pace going and uh, don't do anything stupid and, uh, it seems to be applying the pressure again from third place he just had a little breather there for about a lap and looks to be trying now to uh, really close up onto the tail of Chen in second place and uh, put the, both the leaders under some pressure who uh, spun at the start and uh, translated fifth place on the grid to a 13th place now he's now in. Meanwhile, here's a good scrap as well, car number 10 and car number 45. That is the battle for... Uh, well, that's Danny Stacey Chow, so he's moving backwards, it seems, in 13th place. Badaraco, 15th. Well, he's, in, he's uh, right up behind him now, and we'll be looking for the break going into Lisboa, down the inside. That's one of the classic passing places on this track. Um, we'll see Chen looking to the inside. He's a little far back, isn't he? And in fact, he got a bit wild through there, throwing up the cement dust, so he may have just dropped a tenth or two. And, of course... What he's also got to watch out for is uh, some pressure from behind. Yeah, well, it looks like it was just being dropped, though, doesn't it? I mean, he's um, one and a half seconds behind as they came through. Um, you see, he's gone a bit wide there in his bow. Uh, there's quite a lot of smoke coming out of that car. Yeah, but yes. I thought when he came down the, uh, the main straight out of Mandal Mandarin, that the cement dust was all going down. But in fact, I'm getting to think that some sort of problem. Oof, that's a big one. There's a man with a problem. Oh, hey, yeah, 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 that's uh, Chung, the host of the man who started this race from the outside of the group. Uh, no, 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 Uh, estes carros são capazes de atingir uh, muito próximo dos 200 km antes da curva do Hotel Oriental. Portanto, levantam ali o pé um bocadinho, estão um x no travão e depois voltam a retomar o acelerador para fazerem a curva. Quando as imagens na curva Mel que nos mostram que em primeiro está o carro, continua o carro a número 5, número 5, Xiong Okong de... Hong Kong, depois o carro número 12, Shen Yui, depois o carro número 33, Ipulova. Este, o trio é, que está em Hong Kong. Assina, portanto, é, daquilo que eu posso dizer, e nas imagens, o piloto entrou rápido demais é, para esta curva. E depois não conseguiu. In the Toyota, that gap, uh, they're about three seconds a lap faster than the pursuing pair, and I think Ibn Ibn has got a problem with some sort, because he just seems to be just falling off the pace a little, although there's not so much smoke coming out of that car as there was before. But Chan Chi I think, will be uh, making inquiries about uh, that third place fairly soon. He's got uh, a little bit of an advantage. He's about a, he's, the last lap, he was a second faster than uh, the new blue bar. Meanwhile, the leaders through this bow for the sixth time in his 15 lap. Macau Cup race, Chung leading from Chen in second place. In blue bar third, Chan Chi is fourth. In fifth place, is number 16, Louis Van Kitt. Uh, sixth is number 19, which is Kenny Lowe. 
And now look at this sort of battle for position as they come across the line. There's a lot of position changing there. It's Jonah Mobadarako is in the middle of that lot. Now he got himself up to 12th place at number 28. Jonah Mobadarako, these two are absolutely close together, aren't they? Fantastic racing here at Macau, side by side down towards the Mandarin Bend. Keep an eye out for, as I said right. before, to John and Mobile yeah, That's yeah, him in the black. Car yeah, yeah, number 28. He's been uh, yeah, yeah, starting at the back of the grid. Yeah, and it looks like he's going to take another position. Yeah, of yeah, Yao. Yeah. Not quite yeah, close yeah, enough. Yeah. Maybe, yes. Yeah. I think he will do it. He's going to try and get him on the break. Yao's yeah, got to take a defensive position in This corner doesn't manage it. Padaraka really is on a move. Isn't this fantastic? Six laps into this 15 lap race. And Geronimo Padaraka is already from the back of the grid up into 12th place. Where will where will it all end, I wonder? I don't think you'll be able to catch these boys because they're lapping in the now in the low 2 minute 51 range. Uh, Padaraka is still mired in the sort of. He's overtaking a lot of cars, he's at 3.02, but uh, he's capable of a much higher pace than that. And just a couple of places through the mouth there, very fascinated spectators. Good crowd today, actually. There's a lot of, lot of noise, a lot of cheering and some shouting. Everybody seems to be getting behind this Macau going through this weekend. It's great to see. You're also seeing now a race pace that's faster than the pole position time, so we're seeing that pattern emerging where the cars are running faster in the race than they were able to do in practice. And uh, we've seen the fastest lap in the race now, the, the race leader, Chul, in a 251 point. 213, which is over a second better than his pole position time. Yeah, it's still, uh, just under, it's about eight tenths of a second slower than last year's fastest lap. Last year's fastest lap was a 250.360. Yeah, so, so uh, you can see that the pace is still very fast. It's 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 uh, really, really close together as they go through Mandarin Bay. It's just a, it's gonna, you get the feeling this is going to last through the whole race. And Chen does really take some, get some risks through Mandarin. He runs really close to the arm curl on the exit, which isn't a particularly good idea when you've got that stranded car there. And I think he probably forgot about it temporarily, but uh, he no doubt have reminded himself as he saw it whistling past his left wing mirror. Up towards San Francisco for the seventh time in this 15 lap Macau Cup race. Chung leading from Chen, Ip Lu Bar in third, Chan Chi Wai is fourth. Then it's low in fifth. Louis Man Kit is in sixth place. Ricardo Lopez. Ricardo Lopez from Dynamo 78. Going strongly in seventh place. Started this race in tenth. Been racing here for ten years now at Macau. Very experienced competitor, Ricardo Lopez. And uh, three places oh, ahead of his qualifying yeah. position, which is terrific effort. Uh, and behind him is car number 30, which is uh, Stephen Chua, who uh, started in 16th place in the grid, works his way up to 8th now. Side by side go from 63 and number 30. 63 and 30. That's uh, Poon and Chung, Stephen Chung, who we were just talking about. And number Poon. In, uh, Paul Poon, I your Paul Poon, in the Winfield sponsored uh, Honda there, started his race in 17th place, working his way up now to 9th, going very, very strongly, Paul Poon, and trying to get 8th uh, place away from, from Chung. And then right behind these two, I imagine we will soon be seeing uh, John Mabadaraka because he's now 11th, uh, about 8 seconds as they cross the line behind uh, Stacey, Danny Stacey Chow in 10th place. Will well, got the lead off the start and then uh, lost out to Chung, but um, 
啊，呢、這個後邊嗰啲都好多條板，啲都唔係後邊，都係即係中間支持啊。So up promotes it blue bar into second place. You look at the back of the picture. Red Toyota is now third. Chen and out of the race is Chen. Chen is now third. 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 So uh, not the going for eight laps <laughs> worth of racing from <laughs> the last <laughs> to tenth, <laughs> and I said I pro uh, predicted it won't be all over. <laughs> He's got a lot further to go. Drawing my better record, he will end up in the top six. The race is going well. Yeah, Chen running it the last lap in two fifty one point three three three, which is just a shade off his fastest lap in the race, which is already set in two minutes fifty one two one three, which was on lap five. So he's running a consistent race pace uh, in the 251. Have you had the feeling that possibly this is a little bit left in the tank? But the piston ring now, yeah, certainly, certainly seems to be. Um, but it's still there. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. 要索取解油上半嗰度燒，咁會減低引擎嘅馬力，咁同埋咧，即係呢個惡呢個現象會繼續會惡化。到、嗯、最後咧，可能加油嘅時候咧，出嚟跟住飛行展會誒損失好大量嘅馬力㗎啦。咁你就即係基本上個圈子會驟然，即係即刻會受影響。As they crossed the line last time, and I think Louis might well have grabbed it from him. Is that what Kinghorn was trying to get here? Because the tail tail to the end, it's not going to be easy. Yes, he has. Even the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can see that the tail is the most powerful. And you can That fourth place from Louis that was taken away from him just a moment ago. Through the Donna Maria band, they go in second gear, around about 45, 50 miles an hour, and a short shoot down to Melco, right down through the gearbox into first gear. Took a nice wide arc, just to the level with the end of the Armco barrier. Crank the steering over. You need an extra steering lock here at Macau compared to most normal circuits just to get yourself round that Melco hairpin. Without doubt, the tightest corner. In world motor racing, then down the hill, up through the through the gears, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, back down to third gear again for Fisherman's Bend. Seaway here in this extensive network of fire roads that they've built in the last few years in Macau. Incredible how quickly he develops this tank. Trying to do his own version of a flyover, and that was low, but he manages to keep it all together. Nice bit of recovery, not such good car control. Unfortunately, he overcooked it. Just trying a little bit too hard to get himself back into the fourth place. Then he gets the last lap. 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 Then he Sent the car in the opposite direction, but he said, "You don't get to say that." Yeah, yeah. Because he's a good driver, he has to keep it off the barriers. He wants to go in front, make a mistake earlier in the lap, and thought, "Well, maybe he's there for the taking now. He's lost his concentration a little bit." But then he got another look at himself and threw it all away. Then he got another look at himself and threw it all away. Then he got another look at himself and threw it all away. Then he got another look at himself and threw it all away. Then he got another look at himself and threw it all away. Then he got another look at himself and threw it all away. Then he got another look at himself and threw it all away. Then he got another look at himself and threw it all away. Then he got another look at himself and threw it all away. Then he got another look at himself and threw it all away. Then he got another look at himself and threw it all away. Then It's focusing on number sixty-three in car number thirty, just a second behind, and behind them is Danny Stacy Chow in ninth place, just two tenths of a second behind Chung, right on his tail, and behind them three seconds is Geronimo Badaracco. This is the battle I'm talking about. It's the battle for seventh place, and there's an awful lot going on here. There's Poon, so Poon looks like he's had a problem. 
Bad Areco is past yeah, Poon, yeah, but Poon was, was seven, seven, and he's now tenth. So he obviously had some sort of misfortune coming up the hill out of San Francisco. That's car number 30, which is Stephen Chung. He's now leading this pack. He's in seventh place. And but uh, Jonathan Badarecco had a great deal of success here at Macau, won last year's ACP trophy race, and uh, graduated with flying colours into the, into the Macau Cup this year. Originally held fourth on the grid, deposed to the back start, and he's now right in this great scrap for seventh place. A lot of smoke. Is that the blue bar? Yes, it blue bar. It there is having a, a, a real problem with some sort of smoke coming out of the back of the car. Whether that's affecting the performance of the car, it certainly is, because Chandler Shaw has got past him. Look, you can see that Blue Bar's last lap was a 3 yeah, 2 yeah, he's, he's got the hazard warnings on and he's, he's running off the race pace now. Yeah. It, unfortunately, it um, looks like he's, he's touring now. Uh, his race is run. Yeah, he's looking to uh, get out of the car. Well, I think he uh, will be well advised to, because he won't be sitting in, in it on the place like that. Runs out of the car, literally. And we saw, well, I mean, to be fair, we there was smoke coming from that car from pretty much lap one, wasn't there? It we went away yeah. briefly, but uh, yeah. 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 no question that that was a sick motor car. And it was a shame, really, because it was, his pace uh, early on was pretty intense, and I think he was probably the only bloke who could have given this man here, Chung, a bit of a run for his money for the overall race victory. But now Chung is, is sitting pretty because he's 8.2 seconds ahead of the second place driver Chen Shi Wa, and that's in the red uh, Toyota. I haven't seen him for a while, but he has been. He's been on the program, but he's about two seconds a lap slower than Chung, so he's not really going to be able to do that much. That's Badaraco in that black Honda, though. He's got plenty of uh, designs on a higher place than he's in at the moment. He's uh, ninth at the moment. He's got Danny Stacey Chow as his first target, and then beyond that is Stephen Chung. And he's going to have Danny Stacey Chow at this time into this. Unless Danny can use his considerable experience to try and work out a way of keeping him behind him. Might get a a brilliant move by Badaraco. And Danny Stacey Chow takes advantage as well. Stephen Chung was still napping there. He really was. I think he was asleep because Badaraco came by, came by him as if he was as if he was going backwards. Terrific move by Badaraco in one step to go from ninth to seventh. And he's pulling away. He really is pace is absolutely phenomenal. A 253.333. He's the second fastest man on the circuit. That's just not quite true. He's the third fastest man on the circuit after Louis Mankit and, uh, and Chung, who is the leader, who's comfortably uh, quicker than anybody else back in the 252s. But now Badaraco's got clear of these two. I wonder whether he'll be able to get in to bang in some pretty tasty lap times and... and uh, he should be. I yeah. think he should be able to pick up his pace now. If he can get three of those guys and, uh, and run his own race, he should be able to put the hammer down. And, uh, and, uh, you know, maybe he's looking at the top six places before we finish. Well, absolutely. I mean, he's only just over a minute behind the leader, but he's, he's certainly in touch with... Um, with the top six. Ricardo Lopez is the man in sixth place. And he uh, is about, about 14 or 15 seconds clear of Badaraco at the moment. But, uh, but running maybe five seconds a lap slower. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Start, 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 start closing him down quite spectacularly. We've got five laps to go. Badaraco is lapping five seconds faster than him. So it's quite possible actually that Badaraco, if he keeps this progress up, might well end up around fourth. Fourth or fifth place is possible, which is not a bad effort when he's starting at the back of the grid. Car 28 there, joining my better echo. And uh, Danny Stacey Chow with him. Not being dropped by Badaraco. He's uh, following in the Badaraco train. Those two cars there providing a sort of a wide chicane for the, for the field as they come down towards Fisherman's Bend. Yes, the car down at the Lisbon on the left hand side is making it difficult to move the past because it's forcing the cars across the road to uh, making the inside line harder and harder to attain. What Badaraco was doing there was sort of sliding out to the right and then coming back again. Car number five, that's the leader, overtaking a back marker. The friendly wave there, James. Very friendly wave. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, that's the last you'll see of me. <laughs> Got his hazard lights on, presumably he's uh, struggling there. Got some sort of technical problem.
just letting the rest of the field know that uh, he's the walking wounded and uh, to uh, go past at the earliest convenience. We've got a big spin by Barako, he's lost it out of uh, Mandarin. He hasn't, I'm not sure whether he's hit, it, whether he's hit anything yet, he hasn't stopped it. Has what a shame, Geronimo Barako. Amazing progress he's been making, but he's, he just set the fastest lap as well. I know he had much of a big problem, that was his best lap. But uh, made a mess of it. Danny Stacey Chow, though, has gained the place, so he's now up into sixth place, and that's Stephen Chung, who's also got the lap past Badaraka again now, so all the hard work that Badaraka had done has been uh, 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 Lopez will be able to sleep a little bit more comfortably in fifth place. Badaraka will breathe in down his neck. Well, we join it rather late. We just went too quickly into Mandarin, as we've seen time and again already. We've only had two races so far today, and we've had a lot of people going to Mandarin too quickly. It's obviously a, a, one of those confidence corners where they try and just go a little bit faster each time and uh, obviously reach the critical point which you're trying to take it too quickly. Here is um, um, the to break there, I think, Jason. Uh, <laughs> well, well, some people yeah, do. Some <laughs> I don't think you take it flat <laughs> in one of these. It's flat in a Formula 3 car, yeah. for sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure, sure you don't take it flat in one of these yeah. cars. Yeah. Obviously, you don't, because if you try it, you uh, go through the wall of the flesh. But um, brief look there at Chen Chi Hua in the, uh, the red Toyota just a moment ago, who's 10 seconds behind the race leader in second place. And he's very much on his own. He's uh, dying a very lonely race in second place because he's got a 47 second lead. Sorry, 28 second lead over the third place driver, which is Louis Van Kip. So, the two Toyotas in second and third place, the Honda of Chung is leading. Low is in fourth, Pedro Lopez up into fifth place. Sixth is Danny Stacy Chow. Seventh uh, is Stephen Chung. There is uh, Chen Shi Wang, we mentioned before, in second place. Very uh, solitary yeah, afternoon. I'm not quite sure where Bayerako yeah. is now. He did get yeah, going yeah, again, yeah, but uh, he looked like he yeah, lost yeah. at least two yeah, of yeah, yeah, three yeah, places yeah, due to that spin at the Mandarin Bend. It's a working lap 12 now, so three more to go for Chung. And for Chan Shiwa in your screen now, yeah, 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 on that 5 Come They've been at it pretty much throughout the entire race, these two. Lam, Larry Lam, Chinese driver, the only Chinese driver in the field. And car 68 is uh, Philip Yao, the Hong Kong driver. As we look again at Chan Chihuahua in second place. Chung Hu Kong, there's really nothing he could do about Chung Hu Kong. He might have his headlights on, that's probably more for the benefit of the back markers, I think, than anything else. It's, uh, 10 seconds is a lot to make up, and uh, he's, not even, he's not even closing on him, he's losing a 
about six or eight tenths of a second a lap to the race leader. So unless the race leader makes a mistake, I think it's pretty much an open and shut pace. As they work lap 13 around this 3.8 mile Macau gear circuit, Chung leading from Chan Chi Wai in second place. Louis Van Kitt in the Toyota third, that's Louis 63. That's Paul Poon, who was involved in a terrific scrap for seventh place just before. Paul Poon looks like uh, either overheating or some sort of engine problems. That back marker, I thought he was on his way into the pits, but he seems to be keeping going. There's a very there. Look at that, they're right in the cockpit as well, isn't it? Oh, I want both fire extinguishers. Oh, how extraordinary. Put this out, would you, mate? I've got a bit of a fire in the cockpit. Thank you very much. See ya. Oh, yeah, the idea accidental discussion. Well, unlucky to give racing cars number 13. You don't. I can't remember ever seeing a racing car carrying number 13. Right, and that's running. He's running down now, mate. One lap now. The last car that's still on the lead lap is good old Brian Willock, the Singapore driver. Who's also taking part in the Mandarin uh, but, uh, uh, no sooner do I say that, the Badaraco goes into the pit lane. Badaraco into Chung no sooner do I say that, but he gets passed by Danny Stacey Chow. From fifth down to sixth. In fact, I think he's had some sort of problem. He's not come across the line yet. Yes, he's dropping down through the field because Chung is sixth now. There goes Lopez in seventh across the line. So, Carlo Lopez loses two places on that line. After a lap of 3 minutes, 22.8, so... He started even behind Badaraco. So he's done well to work his way up to 11th place. And then Brian Willock is 12th. Paul Poon, who we saw stopping to have some 
啊，都唔係好穩啊，後邊爭六秒幾，唔係由七秒幾變到五秒幾。不過咁而家行緊第十三個圈，就嚟第十四個圈啦，咁所以咧，即係一個圈內輸三秒咧，都應該冇機會嘅。Meanwhile, at the front, to begin his final lap. In this Macau Cup race, Carl number five, Yuan Chengchun, who comes just three point eight miles away from victory here at Macau on this first day of the forty seventh Macau Grand Prix. Plenty of great racing action coming up here at Macau. Obviously, the Grand Prix tomorrow afternoon, the forty seventh running of the Grand Prix, with a great chance of an Asian victory either by Nairn Kafkan or possibly by Takuma Sato or Ray Fukuda. They're the front four qualifiers, so that's well worth keeping an eye out for. Also, the gear race is terrific this year. If you look at the results, the notch above the cars you're looking at now, and a very, very strong field, very close to the next field. We've got today. We've got the Ericsson Formula 2000 coming up a little later today, and tomorrow we've got those very exotic supercars, the Porsches, the Renault Spiders. Head to head, we've got the Jackie Chan Celebrity Challenge, which is always a highly entertaining three lapper. Usually ends up with the cars left, right, and centre in the barriers. But everyone has a great time. Jackie Chan, obviously a huge hero here in Macau. Great character, Dan. Jackie Chan. So lots to look forward to here on the Macau Grand Prix. But well on his way now to victory. Is Chung Hoo Kong. The man who started this race in pole position, the fastest qualifier, and he's really maintained the form he showed throughout the qualifying session. Do a lap, one and a half seconds faster than he managed in qualifying. Pretty fast performance really by Chun. The only thing you can say is he 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 didn't get it get it off the line particularly well. He lost the lead off the line to Chen Yui. 因為所以帶頭有一個問題咧，就係你去翻慢車嘅時候咧，即係佢哋前面喺喺一個最快帶頭嗰個車前面嘅慢車啦，知道啲車已經開始攬佢哋，呢個最危險嘅情形，要著曬頭燈車啦。咁當第一架頭車過咗之後咧，後邊嗰陣安全，因為嗰陣已經知道啦，嗰陣直頭車嚟到喎，喺路邊。Moving very quickly before being forced into retirement. And the good news for Chung was also when Chen retired, just coming in to run about here to see Chen's car on the moment, but on the side of the road. And there it is on the left. He was the main rival for victory, but his car expired just coming out of the Melco hairpin, and it left Chung with an open field. He's eased it right off now. This race, you can see that Chung is not going to be able to catch up to the leader. He's not going to be able to catch up to the leader. 唔知係通道即係直情啲人 sportsman 一定需要係咁做嘅，所以以前見到新手賽亂曬路，即係大家散唔散去咯。哇！都好問喎，最後咧，最後嘅彎位嗰度搞掂，好啦，冠軍咧